Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival. So today we're over at uh, my neighbor's house and we are going to be installing uh, his EMP shield. So um, Gary has been a licensed electrician for about what, 40, 45 years? Yeah, 40 plus. I so, think. Somewhere in there. So he was, he was around back when it first started, uh, when electricity was all brand new. <laughs> well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding um but you know i asked him uh before we got this going i said hey why don't you take a look at this um and go out to the website see you know what your thoughts are on it and all that kind of stuff and he took a look at it and what did you think gary i was sold on it I yeah i think it's the way to do it okay so um he's got some some understanding of, of electricity and, and all that kind of stuff and and felt like it was a pretty good thing to do so what do, what are we what are we looking at here for installing these this is a unit that is specifically designed to work with a Generac uh, whole house generator. So as you see, we've got two panels here. The panel on the left is the Generac panel and the panel on the right is his house panel. And then here is the, the look, quick look at the instructions. And you wanna show us what we're gonna do real fast, Gary? Well, the neutral is just gonna hook into the neutral bar as usual. Okay. And the green will be your ground, go up here. Okay. And then the red and black leads will come in here, which that's the wires back to the Generac unit. Okay. So all this gets hooked up into the transfer switch and gives us good protection. So is there anything that we need to do as far as turning power off or anything like that before we get going? Not with this situation because these are dead. These wires here are dead okay. going to the generator. And that's what we're going to pull loose and run these leads into. Okay. Got it. And then we don't have to worry about the ground and neutral bar, obviously. So, no. so there's no issues there. No. And the so. wire, the hot wires coming in from the meter, they're up here and they're protected behind this shield that comes with the transfer switch. So, okay, cool. If you, if you stay out of there and stay out of there, you're, you're okay. So awesome. Anyway, All right. Well, let's, to, let's do it. We're ready to hook All right. up. I wonder if there'll be any issue with that being too thin at all. I don't know. I was looking at that too. It yeah, it might. We might have to stick it in with one of one of the other ones, or I don't know. What do you think? Well, what I was going to do is strip off or double a it over bunch and pull it over. Gotcha. We'll so, see. So that's a pretty big lug that we've got there. So he just doubled over the wire. So hopefully it'll it'll the bolt will catch it a little bit better. Um, but we'll see how it does. Get it nice and tight. It's got it. Good to go. Okay, cool. That lug is smaller, so it's not going to be a concern. There shouldn't be with the, no, with the size. Enough. Yeah. Boom. Almost that. Halfway there. So what he's doing now is just sizing out the line, you know, where he needs to cut it and everything. So. He, gets a good idea of how much he needs to have. Now I will say that one, one thing that I've noticed on this, let me see those pieces of wire, is that the ones, uh, the EMP shields for the whole house generator are, uh, they have, the wires are a little larger on them than uh, the one with the standard, uh, for the standard house. I'm not sure 100% exactly why that is, but it is a difference that I've noticed um, and they do hook up slightly differently. So th the way we're hooking this up is specifically for the whole house generator setup. I mentioned that earlier, but I want to make that clear because, uh, on a regular one, it's actually going to go on to, did you say it was a, what size, uh, pole was it supposed to go to? It goes to a 20 amp breaker if you hook it up to your house, which I had a 20 amp breaker here earlier, but it would go to a 20 amp breaker, which only carries, uh, 20 amp. This is a number 10 wire, and it's good for 30 amp for, for some reason, and I don't understand why. It's a bigger wire, like right. you said, for the Generac. For the Generac, yeah. 
So the so with the, a regular house installation, you're going to be hooking it up to that 20 amp breaker. And a lot of people think that um, they're like, well, the wires are too small and it won't carry enough electricity. Well, what it's doing is it's only carrying the over voltage um, and the the house doesn't create that much induction to to have too much of a voltage spike. So that's why it can do it with the smaller uh, set of wires. So he just got those pushed in there. They are now in with those lugs, all nice and tight. And that is that, huh? Yeah, and the only thing I'll, I'll do is I'll put some more zip ties in here just to kind of neaten it up and and uh, there you go. And you're good to I go. Might, I might add too that if you have a 20 amp breaker already existing mm -hmm. and you get the EMP that goes into the panel. The EMP shield, yep. Yeah. yeah, you can put that on a 20 amp breaker. Or if you got room in your panel, what you, you could do, and I saw what I was going to do, was uh, just put a separate 20 amp breaker down here. Roger. Okay, cool. Uh, and it doesn't matter where it goes on the panel or anything like that no. because it's monitoring the whole system. If it's a, if it's it's got to be a two pole 20 amp breaker because it has to hit each bus bar down here mm -hmm. to take care of the whole panel. Got it. Got it. So cool. We're protected here. Okay, that is on. All right. Thank you, Gary. We appreciate it. Yep. And if you guys are interested in saving $50 per unit, then you can use the link in the description below or use the discount code Reality Survival and uh, save you some money. So uh, if it's something that you guys are interested in, go check it out and we'll talk to you guys later.